Hey guys, thank you so much for ordering your T-Bob presets. If you're watching this video, you likely order them. So thank you so much for supporting my small business, Tavoga Bust. Um, I am Alex. I'm the creator and editor of Tavoga Bust and of the presets. And I just want to put together this video to quickly walk you through how to make sure that your install goes super smoothly and it's a super easy process. Starting from your order. So this will be your order that you receive in your email inbox. It will include the cheat sheet, the install guide, and this video, which will be included as well. At the very top, you can see the classics presets. So you can just go ahead and open everything. Depending on whether you're on Windows or Mac, it will open obviously in different windows or in a different folder, but you will find them all regardless in downloads, whatever your downloads is on Windows or Mac, and you can go ahead and open that up. It's always a good idea to just keep everything in a designated folder, especially a place for the install, but for future reference and future use too. So I would just set up a little presets folder, you can call it whatever you want, and drag over the install guide, the cheat sheet PDF that I have for editing, and all the presets of course. Opening up the PDFs, you can just see these little quick guides that I made for you guys just to kind of help simplify the whole process quick kind of editing cheat sheets so you know what to do on mobile and on your desktop if you happen to do desktop as well um, and then you can also go ahead and open your install guide which will walk you through everything really easily too so you'll be able to access all of your mobile presets here they are in a dng file um, that basically carries all the metadata for the presets and you can just basically transfer them over to your phone however is easiest for you um, if you are on mac i would recommend doing it via airdrop it'll just be a bit easier you can also text them to yourself um, if you have an iphone and also have a mac and if not you can send them via email to yourself you could also open these on your phone if you happen to have an app or a plugin that allows for uh, opening compressed files, but most people don't have that. So I would just go ahead and either email it to yourself or um, if you happen to have the Mac and iPhone set up, you can easily just airdrop or text it to yourself. So once the files are over on your phone, they will most likely actually look like light gray, white, or even black files, and that's totally normal. They're DNG files, so they carry the metadata information, but don't necessarily look like images the way JPEGs do, but they will once they're in Lightroom, so don't worry about being confused about which one is which. Um, I would recommend just creating a designated folder for them. It just makes it a bit easier to add them into your Lightroom app. So create a folder, whatever you want to call it, presets, TVA presets. Uh, go ahead and open up your Lightroom app. Once you get it in there, hit add, which is the second from the right on the bottom. And then tap next to camera roll and scroll right down to TVA presets or whatever you named your folder. Then you can just hit the three dot icon at the top right there, choose select all and hit add. And once they're added into Lightroom, you'll see they actually are images that they have um, the presets applied to them. And they also have titles to make it super easy to know which one's which. So now creating the presets, you're just gonna go ahead and open up each DNG file. You're gonna hit the top right three dot icon. You're gonna hit create preset, third from the bottom there. And you're just gonna go ahead and name it. So they're all named for you already in the titles. You can call them whatever you want, but I would suggest just naming them as is. Um, I already have the presets obviously in my preset folder. So I'm just doing a duplicate here. So now accessing that presets icon on the bottom menu bar, you can see that that duplicate preset I created for Bloom is added in. So you'll just go ahead and do the same thing for every single one of the presets, however many are in each set. Um, in this one that I'm using, it's seven presets. So you'll go through and create seven new presets. So just as a quick example, let's open up this lovely little flower shot that I got in the park the other day. And I'm just gonna go ahead and reset it. And you can just tap on your preset, whichever one you choose. So obviously this bloom one seems like it's a great fit for these blooms. And you can go ahead and tweak however you'd like. And again, I have all the tips for editing in the editing tips guide that comes with your purchase as well. And once you're happy with everything, you just hit the download icon, which is the third from the right at the top menu bar. And you can hit export to camera roll. And then you can do whatever you would like with that picture. Post it to Instagram, save it for your memories, post it to stories, whatever. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this. I hope that covered everything and that that was super easy to follow. Um, it is a really simple process and once you get used to it, adding in new presets or even creating your own preset if you're really liking a particular editing style that you're using is super easy to do. So I hope that this helps you and thank you again so much for supporting me and to Vogue Your Best.